going on guys? This is your boy Shadow Silver, bringing you a Gears of War 3 Casual King of the Hill on Old Town. Now this is not me playing, this is my good friend Shadow Phenom. He's been playing more than me. I, I, mean, I more or less put Gears of War behind me, but I do enjoy a casual match every now and then. For the most part, you know, I came over, he wanted to play some Gears, he wanted, to, wanted me to record him, so I did. Got some pretty good clips, but you know. It's nothing outside the, the usual gear of the War 3, not everybody's moved on, you know, with the DLC maps. You play, I, I'm already told him this, you play, you play more experienced players with the DLC maps, but no, he didn't want to get it. It's just freaking, what was it, $10? You can get the, uh, what was it, Force of Nature, I think it was, the new maps, you know? And, I mean, you, not only would you not experience as much lag, but you play more experienced players. I know when I got that shit, holy shit. I was playing going up against when I went solo, a cute solo, I was going up against fucking clans and shit, like fucking top ranked players. It was fun, but at the same time, it was frustrating. But, um, you see here, he's just kind of going in, you know. Got a little pressure here. But, uh, something, a couple things I wanted to talk about while, while I bring you this video. Shit, he just got ripped. But, uh, couple things such as what I've been doing, what's been going on in my life, you know, what I plan to do with this YouTube channel, what kind of videos I want to upload, that type of stuff. So starting with that, they, uh, I know most of y'all probably don't know, but my Xbox One pretty much got fried, you know. I, uh, did a not so smart thing and tried to play it while it was during a thunderstorm. After the storm got to a certain point, I was like, alright, I'm done. I turned it off, but didn't unplug it. You know, I, it wasn't on a um, extension cord or a power strip. It would just plug straight into the wall, right? No problem, right? You know, what could happen? Wrong. Fucking 10 minutes into it, I'm just laying there looking at my phone. Lightning strikes, arcs through the tree, hit my power box, knocked all the power out of the house, right? I have no light, zero light. Try to turn everything on, wouldn't work. TV doesn't work. It was one fried, won't come on. So I'm like, well, shit, that's like five hundred dollars down the drain. So after we got our lights cut back on, to try it again, still won't work. Freaking thirty-two inch TV won't work. Thank God I got another freaking thirty-two inch I could use, but um, it was one just gone, right? So I was like, well, I'm not buying another Xbox One. I just wait to see. You know, it was on the warranty. I just wait to see if Microsoft can fix it. Right? So. I, pu I packed it up and just had it sitting in my room on the intentions of sending it to Microsoft. Never sent it. Never ever sent it. Instead, freaking my friends in my unit was like, dude, shoot your Xbox One, man. Just get a freaking PS4, dude. PS4 is better anyway. I'm not on the whole console war thing. I think both of them is good. But since I kept getting harped on it, I just went ahead and got the PS4, right? First games I got was... Battlefield, Infamous, and Minecraft? No, I think Minecraft came with it. But those are the only two games I had, right? So I played a lot of Battlefield. Didn't really record much because I, I didn't, I wasn't used to the PS4 controller at the time. So I didn't feel comfortable recording it. I mean, I've gotten some good clips. Or would be clips if order. Damn, he got destroyed. Damn, Nate. Pick it up. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I was just haven't playing no, you know, much Battlefield, and of course now, Destiny came out. I've been playing a lot of Destiny now. I know y'all probably already heard this something about the damn Ari Jesus of that is Destiny. Like you can freaking do all this work and get a freaking get nothing. You may get a deck carrier Ingram, which is good. That's normal. If you get legendary Ingram, like oh man, I hope it's something good. You go to fucking Raul. And he's such a dick. He's like, oh, I wonder what it is. And you get fucking multi light. That's just, it's annoying at times, but I can't stop playing it. You know, I don't more or less calm down on playing it. You know, I don't play it every day. But since all my friends can play Destiny, he's like, come on, man, get on Destiny, fag. Okay, fine, I'll get on it. I hope I get something today. You know, shit like that. Of course, it's a nightfall. It resets every, every Tuesday. Of course, it's a nightfall. You're, you're, you're bound to get something good. According to Bundy, you are. But the past three weeks, literally, I think this week, yeah, this week, I got 12 incentive shards, right? Fucking useless. The week before that, I got, what did I get? I got a freaking legendary chest piece, right? 
useless. The week before that, I got a legendary gun. It's just fucking. It's it's, it's inconsistent. I've seen all my other friends get Gallahorn. They've got they've gotten fucking. What did they get? Monte Carlo. Shit like that, man. But one gun I want. The one gun I want. It's hard life. Why why is it so hard for me to get a hard light? Everybody's like, man, that gun's not even good, man. Why you want it so bad? I don't fucking care. It's hard light, man. Come on. I like the perks on it. I like how the gun looks and I like how it shoots. It's cool. I mean, what's not to like about it? It doesn't have to be top tier gun. I like bad juju before they buffed it and everybody said, man, that gun is shit. But look at that. Now everybody using it because they buffed it. It's just... Well, I don't know. It's just my perfect plan. I've been playing a lot of that. Playing a lot of... A lot of smite, like a hell of a lot of smite. And uh I've been one wanting to get my other friends into smite. I've gotten one other person into smite. The other person downloaded it. He hadn't played yet because he didn't have a mouse. I uh I re I really like that game. I played it ever since the beta. Seen a lot of changes to it. Most of them are good. Some of them I don't really agree with. It's, I mean, it's still a, it's a solid game so, so far. It's not that bad. Of course, you know, the mobile community community is already bad. People are freaking raid over you just be going... You can go... One person can go 15 and 1 with, say, Zeus or Thor. That one kill! They'll be like, oh man, this game's bullshit! And they'll just leave. Or they'll hop on everybody else. It's fucking stupid. I mean, like, why, what happened to teamwork? I know you be playing with randoms. You you should expect that. I expect that. Sometimes I get annoyed, yes, but I don't, I don't, you know, I don't tell them about it. I mean, I may tell them that, hey, man, you know, you do this, you're doing this wrong. Maybe if you do this, it'll help. I get mixed reactions. You know? I get the whole thing, man. Oh, yeah, I'll try that. You know, I'm sorry. Or else, like, oh man, you don't know how to play the game, bro. You just a noob. Look at your profile. I don't, I don't like the tough people. It's just stupid. But all in all, I can't say I really like the mobile community, but it is. A unique community, I guess you could say. I like Smite. I played League of Legends, and I played. What was the other one? I wanted to play Dota 2. Haven't played it. I uh, don't think I will play it. Don't like really. Don't really like League of Legends. When Smite was still in beta, I tried League of Legends while I was like switching in between Smite. I don't like. Oh, look at this quad. <laughs> he was going crazy when he got that quad. But uh. Don't really like the, the click and go here, or click and move your character here mechanic. You know, one of the things that really got me with Smite is that it's it's a third person. I mean, you get to, you get to control your character and do your moves which, whenever you want, without having to wait for your character to click there, go there, and then do the move. I like that. I like where you have to, you know, you independently choose where your character moves. So that's just me. That's my perfect person. A lot of people don't like that. Like, I know one of my one of my friends right now that I play Destiny with is like, dude, League is, League is better though, man. He's like, I, I, I disagree. But, um, I'm playing a lot of that in Destiny, but mainly, mainly what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I play that. Play Destiny. Hope for something good in Destiny and never get it. But, um, it's just how it is. And I wonder how they're going to do with the hardware, because you know, everybody knows fucking... Destiny is not a polished game, it's far from polished, but everybody can't stop playing it. And there's so many glitches in the game, it's freaking retarded. It's like, it's like, it's like, if you had a Destiny case, and you held it up to your face, you see just, you just see nothing but holes, cause that's what it is. It's none of the glitches. The glitches are fucking fucked up parts in the game. You can keep and it's dumbed down the experience of Destiny. I mean, it wasn't much of a story in it, as it is, but... I can understand it, it's just or not, it's a fucking prologue. They're trying to build the foundation, but they really, didn't have, have, really haven't gotten, done a good job on that. But I, I, I'm curious, I'm curious on how they're going to do it in the next five years. Or whenever, or however long the contract is. Good lord, Nate, that boom shot. Horrible. I made up for it though. But uh... But yeah. Um... One other thing I want I like to see, me and my me and my friends made a clan on Destiny called Space Wolf 40k. As you probably have seen from uh, earlier videos, I founded the clan, you know, Shadow Gaming on my Xbox. We played Gears of War, we played Battlefield, and we played Marvel vs. Capcom. I don't ever since I went to PS4 I kinda defected and you know left my clan base there. 
they all still have three, 360s though. And then when I went to Xbox One, it, that gap was already starting to, you know, starting to widen. So I couldn't, I couldn't play with them. I, when I got my Xbox One, I traded my 360. So yeah, there's that. Uh, I wanted to get the Xbox One. They had a chance to get it, but this is, they just said it wasn't worth it. Uh, from what I hear, from what I hear now that PS4, they're still having a lot of problems, like party chat, communication, and that stuff. The achievement system is fucked. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. So, I mean, it's, it's still in its freaking stages, but you have to be anticipated next gen console. It does have a lot of glaring faults, but uh, I mean, you know, it's still Xbox, it's still Microsoft. What can you do? But uh, as far as PS4, yeah, I like it, but you know, my roots are Xbox, so I mean, of course, I'm gonna be biased towards Xbox and not towards PlayStation. Even though I had a PlayStation 2, who didn't? I didn't, you know, I had a PlayStation 2, didn't even have a 3, I mean, an actual original Xbox. I had a, I had a PlayStation 2, then I went straight to 360. I had 360 for like five or six years, then got Xbox One. That got destroyed with the PS4. Mission. That's exactly how it went. So, I, I, you know, I come from Xbox. That's just how it is. Xbox 360 is freaking frames and its menu is way better than Xbox One by far. I love it. Xbox One, not so much. Now, not even that, it lags. Holy shit, it lags whenever you try to go to a freaking app. It's like an app within an app, you know what I'm saying? It's retarded. But, uh,. What I like to see done though with my channel is that I wanna, I want if there's only a way I know Microsoft can do this, but I don't know why the fuck Sony want to do this, is where you can change a gamer tag for a set price. I know Microsoft does it is with 800 Microsoft points and you can change your name. Like why? It's ten dollars. Why? Why can't Sony do that? It's like oh you gotta make a whole new channel and buy another fucking PSN for a year, sixty dollars just to have another account. But oh wait, you still gotta pay for your other account if you wanna play on that. I'm, I'm not dealing with that. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I may stay, I may stay at the channel that's Shadow Gaming. I may put it at Space Wolves, because I know we got a lot of games. We got Evolve coming out, we got Mortal Kombat coming out. It's a lot of games, a lot of anticipated games that we all want to play, you know? So, you, you'll be seeing a lot more of that. I do have some Marvel's Capcom games that I am in the making of putting the finishing touches on. So, you know, I got that for the body game selection. I wanted to have some injustice in there. Some of my friends got injustice, but when I played them, I hate to say it because I know they're going to watch it, but it's like, I, I'm... They, I'm going to just say it. They picked cheap characters, man. Fucking Destro, come on now. Of course, anybody... I know some good Destro players out there. When I first got injustice, I knew I already saw that happening, but I, I, I played some pretty decent Destro. Pretty high rank, too. But, uh... No, all I want to do is just sit back and fucking shoot the pew pew guns and spam the shit out of me until I die. So I had to get people like Ares and Scorpion to fucking counter that. And even then, even then it was frustrating, but you know, it's injustice, what can you do? So. Ah, uh, what else is there? Uh, yeah. Fire Game Collection. Fucking Destiny. I got some Destiny Raw videos. I haven't really edited any of it because it's just like I, I, I might as well just fucking put up a montage of, of Destiny raids of me raiding when I get yeah, Legendary Ingram and it turns to fucking stars or modes of light. And it's just like I haven't got anything good in the past four weeks. It's just pretty annoying. It's just made me lose faith in the game, but of course I can't stop fucking playing it, which is which is the basis of it of any game like that, even though it tries so hard not to be an MMO. You just need to call it for an MMO. Call it for what it is. Call it an MMO. I'll be happier with that. But no, no, no. I don't want to accept it, so I want to accept them. But, uh, that's kind of it. Uh, Nate, Nate's team ended up winning 2-0. So that's pretty good. You know, he still got it. <laughs> I like that stick there. Uh, you may see some more giveaway gameplay from me, but in the future I don't see it anytime soon. I may play it, I may not, that's just how it is. We got total score, he's got MVP. He's two and no. His count actually got <laughs> his count actually got hacked, I guess you could say, or deleted. 
because he got so many negative responses from like teabagging and like trash talking. So he had he leveled him back back up now. He's a green eighty eight right now. But uh, thank you for y'all time. Just let me know what y'all think. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll post it up. I got a lot of games in the making, so I'll see you soon. Shadow Silver signing out.